It's a miserable day here at Stowe Hill in the autumn, uh, but here's a lovely boat to cheer us up. She's called Chimes of Freedom. She's a 44-foot cruiser stern narrowboat built in 2011, uh, built by East West Marine. Quite well known for their fit-outs. Um, bamboo, lots of lovely shiny wood. She's in lovely condition, actually. You might be driving very slowly. Just ask them to speed up a bit. You can see the propeller kicking in. Lovely cruiser stern deck. Seven feet six inches long. The paintwork's in reasonable condition. There's the bells. I'm not sure the background of the name. Perhaps they were bell ringers or campanologists. Nice light boat. And for a 44 foot boat, she feels so spacious. You'll see as we go through. Good size well deck. Three foot seven inches long. And the bench seats you can see at the top of the screen there. They're, they're, there's one either side, but they collapse. I've, I've left the one on the bottom of the screen down, so you can see they just fold down. Gas bottles are in here, 213 kilos. Nice and clean and tidy in there. The water deck is underneath, 500 litres, stainless steel. There's the folded down bench seat. Glazed front doors. And then we go. For those of you familiar with East West boats, it's fairly typical, but it's, it's lovely. L-shaped seating area. There's a dining table, collapsible that goes here. There's storage underneath, and this converts into a double berth as well. There's the view out of the sitting room. 12 volt Avtec television on the on the uh, wall there. A very long radiator. Head height on the boat is six foot four. All the lighting is LED. Nice lights under this glasses cupboard. The worktops are granite. The kitchen's a lovely arrangement. It's horseshoe arrangement. Plenty of storage in here. Four burner gas hob. Oven and grill underneath it. Thetford Midi Prima. Sink of stainless steel. Sliding windows over it so that that can open lots of air through there. And a huge cupboard underneath here that goes all the way left and right. Or right and left in the order of the camera there. And the fridge a shoreline 12 volt there's an ice box in there and there's a view down the saloon from the kitchen it's such a cozy boat this down through a corridor you'll have noted a large radiator in the bedroom I'll come back to the heating this this bathroom is huge it's nearly six feet long the loo is a macerator pump out the basin there is ceramic there's a shower rail, a uh, curtain rail rather, for the shower. It's a very big room, it's lovely. Lots of space. There's another radiator, sorry, central heating, Webasto, thermotop. So it's a diesel fired central heating system. The bed itself in here, six feet four inches long, four feet wide. Cupboard over with reading lights underneath it, you can just see them there. Storage under here, the water tank, the hot water tank's under the bed here, along with some storage and a couple of drawers. Very clever folding door opens up to this huge double wardrobe, floor to ceiling. And there's the inverter in there. It's a 1.6 kilowatt Victron inverter charger and three very good sized drawers underneath. The woodwork's lovely on this boat. It's hard to describe it really. Looks very polished and clean. Out onto the stern deck. Huge social area. The engine's in here. Nice and clean in here. That's a Barra Shanks 35. Batteries are at the top of the screen. There's three of those. Two ledgers, one starter. And quite a nice taff rail around the back of the deck here. And there's a the view from the helmsman's position. So a lot of space on this boat. For a 44 foot boat, she offers really comfortable living space, holiday space, extended cruising space. I think I mentioned 500 litre water tank capacity. Hot water supplied by the engine. The Webasto, well there is an immersion heater on board as well. Absolutely charming boat. I really like these boats.
There's a further gallery of photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure, and the price is well on our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk.